Hello everyone, today some nostalgia. We have the Harry Potter trading card game from, yeah, I think it was 2001 or something. But this is the two player starter set for the base set. And it says magic begins with one starter set and we will see why. This was the old Wizards of the Coast trading card game you can even see here the symbols that they used on magic as well you can also see the plastic is disintegrating but that's okay we're gonna open it anyway there we go so what year is this from let's see uh, where i'm looking ah 2001 just like i thought so this uh, came out after the first movie um, yeah, just with a whole bunch of other merchandise and everything. Yeah, we got this, and I was really into this card game. I bought a lot of the first set. I got the first set complete, at the time at least. Then I sold it, as I did with so, mon so many other things. And now I still have quite some cards, but not nearly enough. Uh, yeah, not, not nearly Anywhere close to what I had. I had promos as well. Second set, everything. Oh, beautiful. So we have two starter decks here. They're all sealed in together. We have Hermione Granger. And we have Draco Malfoy. And yeah, these are just the two uh, half decks, if you will. Uh, two half decks. That you can play against each other. And I'm trying not to destroy the cards here Ugh, hold on Got a little something here for that the rule the rules they don't mind to me but as long as the cards are just not damaged so two decks we got some counters here And then we have the rules, the advanced rules. Oh my goodness. Attention, first years. Uh, yeah, this is all about it. All about uh, the first set. And here is a playmat alongside the how to play. Uh, let's just see. I'm not going to open this up um, all the way. I may do that someday, but not now. Uh, right. <coughs> Apologies. I'm still uh, oh, in the final days of my flu. Of the flu. Um, right. There we go. Oh, I haven't seen these cards in such a long time so here we have Hermione Granger she's a witch and uh, she is unique and she's for Gryffindor now then if you already have two or more lessons in play and lessons is basically like a land for magic you can play one each turn and there you can uh, yeah then you can pay stuff with it uh, so if you already have two lesson the two or more lessons in play then whenever you use an action to play a lesson card you may play two lesson cards instead of one and I don't really remember how the game worked um, but apparently you had you had actions to do things right we have a creature and our creatures are all uh, horizontal like this damage each turn three and health uh, three it's a six cost uh, creature wolf vicious wolf and we get three of those then we have take root for five it's a spell uh, your opponent chooses one of his or her creatures in play and discards it pretty cool um in Carsiforce for six it's a spell choose one of your opponent's creatures in play and discard it all right hagrid and the stranger for four it's also a spell put a creature card from your discard pile into your hand i remember playing this card a long time ago uh, forest troll uh, for two uh, to play this card discard one of your uh, yeah what what was it called beast lessons from play I don't remember um, damage is turn two and health three we get a bunch of these 
Um, Epoximize. For two, a spell. Choose one of your opponent's heart lessons in play and discard it. A Curious a Raven. Uh, yeah, just a bird for two. Uh, damage per turn, one. And health, one. We get four of him. And a playset is four. Avi Force for two. We have a spell that says choose one of your opponent's uh, animal beast lessons in play and discard it. And then we have... Uh, oh, here it says uh, what it is. Transfiguration. That is the pink one or the red one. And these are basically like the... Uh, yeah, like the lands for magic. Uh, care of magical creatures. That's it. And this is the back of the card game. Oh, so familiar. So nostalgic to me. Now then, here is Draco Malfoy. And I remember playing um, Snape, actually. Snape was also one of the characters that you could get from the core set. And he did something with... Uh, Potion magic. Potion lessons, I believe. Hardly remember. So, Draco Malfoy is a wizard uh, from Slytherin and he is unique. And during your turn, you may use an action and discard a card from your hand to look at your opponent's hand. You may then choose one card uh, in his or her hand and discard it. Very powerful. Right, Vermilius for three. Uh, sorry, for four. It does three damage to your opponent or to a creature of your choice. Four of those. We have a, a Surly Hound for three. We get a damage each turn. One and a health three. Stupefy for six. Just do five damage to your opponent. And I believe damage uh, in this game was cards milled from the top of your deck. Could be wrong, but that's what I remember vaguely. Um, Akio for two. Uh, it's a spell. Put up to two lesson cards from your discard pile into your hand. Magical mish uh, mishap for two. Do three damage to your opponent. Hagrid and the Stranger again. Just a common. So Curious Raven again. Boa Constrictor for 4, uh, damage each turn 2, and health 2. Oh. And then we have the, uh, yeah, the lessons. So we have charms. And we have care of magical creatures. And that is it for the demo decks, for the, for the starter decks. So, yeah, we have two decks, Draco... Malfoy and Hermione Granger. And yeah, I really want to open up more of this card game. There are still sealed booster boxes available. And I would not recommend to anyone to buy single boosters of this game. Because I remember going to the store with my scale. Um, and just weigh the boosters. Because the foils in the set, they are different kind of foils than these. They were a lot more heavy than the regular cards and you can measure it you can weigh it so i do not recommend buying single boosters because they're probably been weighed probably been filtered even though it says oh, it comes from a sealed box of course every booster comes from a sealed box don't buy single boosters for this game either get your singles if you really want it or just uh, save up for uh, either the starter decks these are uh, just uh, Neat little intros for the game. Or your... Uh, yeah, if you have enough money, of course. Uh, go ahead and uh, pull the trigger on a booster box. Um, but yeah, like I said, I had once upon a time a complete set of set 1. Um, most of set 2. I did have a couple of promos. I don't even remember where my cards are for this game. But I still have some cards left. Not all of them, but some. I definitely don't have Snape anymore. Oh, too bad, too bad. Well, I really, really enjoyed this trip down to memory lane. The, the art especially. Oh, I used to be a demo player for this game. Imagine that back in 2001. I was 15, when, uh, 16 maybe. When the games, uh, yeah, when this game came out. 
Thank you all very much for watching. Join the Patreons if you haven't done so already. Thank you very much to them, because thanks to them, this product was made available. So, see you all next time. Bye-bye.